Hello. In this video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our virtual lab. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do this. I recommend, though, getting VMware Workstation. It's a bit pricey, but it works in a laboratory environment, especially for malware with the things that we have to do. You have two other choices, which is uh, Oracle's Virtual Box, which is good. Uh, it does have problems, but it's free. So if you need to use that, hey, by all means, do whatever it is that you need to do to follow along if you wish. And Microsoft also has their virtual PC, which I just never tried. But anyways, there are some options that you have. Uh, but like I said, if, if you have the extra cash laying around and, and you can afford it and you're looking to make this thing something of a field that you'd like to get into, I would highly recommend getting a VMware Workstation. So we'll need two operating systems. We'll need one Windows and one Linux. Um, right now, I don't know how much longer they're going to keep this going, but Windows is releasing Windows 10, uh, free technical download, the ISO, the operating system, for free, uh, which is really nice. So. The first thing I'm going to go to, I want to download Ubuntu. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, download whatever machine bit you are. So if, if your computer 64 bit, which most are today, I download that. Or if they're 32, you can go ahead and download that. The choice is yours. Now Windows 10, you can download this right now for free. They have what's called the Insider Preview ISO. And apparently, if you have this ISO, which I'll put this link also where you can download it for free, you can activate it for free too. And it is a preview. It's not the full release of Windows yet. So there are some weird bugs, but most of them has gotten working out at this point. So that's what we're going to use. If you have a license to another, versions of another version of Windows, like 8.1 or 7 or whatever, that you have a key for and you've never used, which most people don't, you can go ahead and install those as well, but I'm going to do my tutorials here with Windows 10 because it's freely available for everybody at this point in time. Uh, again, I don't know how long that's going to be, but as of right now, we can get it for free, so that's what I'll use. Um, so we go ahead, we download them. So I've already downloaded Windows 10, I've already downloaded Ubuntu, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to build our virtual machine. I'm going to use VMware Workstation for this. You can use whichever virtualization software you like the best. Um, I have a couple up. Now, here's something too. Okay, I took a course at SANS. It was for reverse engineering malware. Um, my videos will be nowhere as in-depth as these guys. These guys are the best of the best, the elite. Um, but this will give you a good solid foundation for if you'd like to take that course. Another cool thing is if you take that course from SANS, you get uh, the person that pretty much put together that course, uh, Lenny Zeltzer, uh, forgive me if I'm saying your last name wrong, but he designed a version of Linux called Remnix, and it has everything already preloaded, pre-built. I mean, it's just out of the box, ready to go, you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'm not going to use that, Number one, I don't know if I'm even allowed to use that to show in videos like this. Uh, number two, I think it's important that everybody knows how to set up their own environments because there might be some tools that you might need to know how to use and it would be good to know how to set them up. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start my new workstation. So. I'm going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to go in custom. We're going to use 11. And this is kind of pretty much, the windows are going to look a little bit different, but in VirtualBox and Microsoft and all of that, they're going to be pretty much the same things. First, they're going to know, want to know where your ISO is located. So wherever you downloaded it to is probably going to be where it's located. So we'll go to browse. Uh, here's my windows. But I'm going to do Ubuntu for right now. So I'm going to say, OK, I want Ubuntu. Next, full name. OK, my name is Ron. 
username is going to be Ron. Ron password is whatever you want to make it. I'm going to be extremely unsecure and just say admin, admin, which I highly recommend against. But since this is just a test and for show, I'm going to keep it simple as possible. And it doesn't like that username. What did it say? Uh, I can only do lowercase. Okay, so Ron. Next. Okay, Ubuntu. All right, that's fine. Location. Nope, I want to change my location. The only reason I'm doing this, you don't have to, is because I have a solid state drive, which is on my C, which is, as you can see, very, very small. So these things take up some space. So I'm going to put it into my storage drive, which is considerably larger. And I'm going to put it in, where is it? My VMs and in, where is it? Yeah, that's good enough. So default location, no, not C colon user wrong. Forgive me while I stumble around my hard drive. <laughs> VMs. All right. There we go. That's looking better. All right. It appears to have an existing one. So, no, I don't want to override it. So, here I go again. Back there. Create a new folder. Call it Ubuntu. Okie dokie. Now we're cooking. So, I'm just going to let this one use one core. And it's Ubuntu. All right. So, Here's another thing that we're going to get into. The amount of RAM that you want. Ubuntu probably runs best off of 2 gigs, so I'm going to give it 2 gigs. Now I have 16. The more gigs of RAM you have on your rig, the better off you're going to be. Because you're going to run, need to run two instances of operating systems. We're going to have one virtual lab of, or well, I should say our virtual lab will consist of Ubuntu, and Windows. So there are going to be some resource hogs. Plus we have our host OS, which is going to be also need RAM to run too. So the more RAM you have, 16 should be good. If you have 32 or 64, hey, that's even better. Man, you must got some money because I don't got it. Anyways, we'll go two gigs next. You can set it at one. If you don't have, if you have like a four gig machine, four gigs of RAM, you can set it at one set uh, Windows 10 for two gigs. It's gonna run, it's gonna run slow, but hey, it'll still run. So, how are we gonna do our network? For right now, we're gonna use host only, and in a minute, I'll show you why. Actually, no, I'm sorry. We're gonna use NAT for right now, but we're eventually going to change it to host only, and we'll get into that when we get there. So, we'll just keep default, keep default, we want to create a new virtual disk, okay. Ubuntu doesn't need kind of 20 gigs, we'll give it 15. Uh, we want to allocate it now, we want to store it as a single file. So, next. Now we're going to browse to where we're going to put it. This can be wherever you want. I like to keep it in my storage and go back to VM and hard drives. I'm going to call it Ubuntu 64. Next, and finish. So this is gonna take a little while. It's going to create the disk. It's going to start loading it up. When it starts loading it up, we'll come back to this and we'll continue the rest of this video. Okay, so we're back. Our hard drive's been created and now Ubuntu is starting up for the first time. Depending upon what you have for your virtualization software, you're gonna get different messages, which is all fine and dandy, so I'll click. Once you click inside, you notice my mouse is now moving that mouse and it changed to the Ubuntu mouse. So we're gonna go through this and it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna install and detect and do all that wonderful thing. We'll go through the configurations with this and here we go. Another nice thing with the uh, workstation, VMware workstation, notice down here it says easy install is installing Ubuntu 64. So what the heck does that mean? That means it already knows some of the default prompts and some of the things that it 
needs to set up. Virtual box will be a little bit more manual, but uh, VMware Workstation will be a little bit more automated in the install of these OS's. And here we are. Installation has finished. Type in the password. And now our little operating system, Linux operating system, is all loading up. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to load up our Windows workstation. So let's get started.